we take our moiety, our spark and your people from Gilper and Makradas to Eagleog and Crow, and we take our meat who is from our mother. So me, I'm a Makra person, so I take my moiety from the eagle, so I'm a wed tan eagle. With the black shag old Natacha, we don't harm him, will any get him if we're really hungry? Or poorly to the pelican, and there's a, another little bird what they call pinker. With them three birds, they specially for the barker. The black shag will tell us where the fish, where the fish are, and the pelican will do the same thing. And pinker eat the river worm. There's a little worm, it's only about this long, little red sort of worm like a tiger worm, and it's native for the river. And pinker will tell you where the worm is. So you go and you lift the logs up, the bits of sticks was laying around, and bits of stone, and you'll find worms for fishing. But when you do that, you leave a couple of worms for Binko. You chuck a couple out because he'll be watching you all the time, so you feed him too. And this is the Barker, the Darling River, the Barker. Where I was reared up, I don't like sitting inside of a building and doing my artwork because I get no inspiration out of it. But sitting out here, now and again you might hear a bird whistle, you might hear old crow come past and sing out or something. Old wako. I'm carving a crane. He'll have a yab in his mouth, walking around the weeds looking for yabbies. With this wood here, I didn't cut this tree. This was cut where they cut the big old river red gum down to make sleepers for the railway and for gardens. And what I do, I just go along and pick the wood up and, and shape it into what I want. I see something and I'll just draw it out, cut it and, and shape it to what I want to do. Work with the wood. I, I like carbon dead wood because when I, with my carving, I'm bringing it back to life. Just in my mind, I bring it back to life in a different form. I carve birds and that because we are part of the environment, it's just natural. I got to talk for the animals but can't talk. I got to talk for the black shag and I got to talk for this muscle because it can't talk. Everything needs to live because everything but it's the smallest insect to the muscle that's a part of the food chain. I think that everyone should take some sort of animal and say, this is my totem, this is who I'm going to be. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. You say, this is my totem, this is who I'm going to respect, and this is who I'm going to fight.